Zach is on first. Hi, I'm Brock Hockey Mom. Zach from Say What Zach. We are here doing the AHL American Hockey League scores and standings. Yes, scores and standings. For Wednesday, Wednesday February, February 5th. 5th. Sorry, just so bad with dates. They all blend together at certain points. When you're up at noon and go to bed at three or four, you don't really remember the dates because you're up during two of them. Anyways. We're going to go ahead and let Drunk Hockey Mom lead us through the scores of tonight. Sorry ahead of time. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, I'm not going to know. He's going to know divisions. I don't know that stuff. You don't need to worry about divisions okay. yet. We'll get into this after. Now, I know it's, I think it's Laval. There was um, nine games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine games today. A lot less goal scoring than some of the NHL <laughs> ones had last night. Yeah, the long, I think the biggest one was the Hartford and the Springfield. I don't think I got that right. Okay. First one. I think it's Laval Rockets and Utica Comets played. And the Rockets won in overtime. And now I'm going to try and read these names. This is where it gets fun. Okay. First goal was Houdan with in the 1 minute 27 seconds into the first. And then Perrin. Uh, four minutes and 30 seconds into the first from Utica. Houdan again at 17 minutes, 29 seconds in the first. So after one, it's two to one for the Rockets. Oh, I like that you did that. That's mm -hmm. a good idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like his little interjection. Yep. And then we have, now I'm going to say, I think it's Bree, Bree, Breeze Ball. Breeze, Breeze Boy. I'm not sure. I'm not yeah, some of the names it. I don't know either. I'm sorry. Um, he got a goal 10 minutes and 30 seconds into the second. Evans got a goal 15 minutes into the second. Um, Stevens got a goal at 16 minutes 52 seconds into the second. So that would bring us to 3-3 three to three at the end of 2 for this game. I love that little calculator brain. I just don't... It's oh, I could be very wrong. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to add in my head not good with math. And... All right, let's, let's yeah. round this out. Yep. And then Evans got a goal 3 minutes 59 seconds into the third. And Boucher, I'm going to say Boucher. Got another goal, um, four minutes, 27 seconds into the third. That leaves us tied at 4-4, four, four, right? Yep, that's 4-4, four, right. four, going into overtime. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I just noticed she's blocking half the board. Now that oh, you can read that wanna, anyways. Did you want to see that? <laughs> you can't read it. She, <laughs> she did fit on one board, but you can't read it for sure. Like, not to say you I guys were trying to. I was supposed to fit on one board. I fit on one board. I didn't have to fit on I said you, you had two boards. Oh, I, I apologize. Next time be better, guys. Yeah. Okay, then our... Um, overtime winner was Willette. I'm going to say Willette. He got 47 seconds into the overtime yep. period. And that gives you the 5-4 to four win for the Rockets over the Comets. All right. So Rockets get a big win. They needed it. Uh, Rockets get a point, which also needed because they are trying to catch the Americans and trying to stay ahead of the Rockets. So. All right. Yeah. All right. Then we have Syracuse and Bridgeport. Bridgeport. Sound Tigers. See, I'm, I'm trying, guys. I'm getting there. And Syracuse won that one 3 to 2. And here goes with the names. The first player was Bardro, I'm hoping. Got his first goal in. Not his first goal, I'm sorry. Got the first goal in. It's 17 minutes 51 seconds into the first. Which gave you a 1 0 lead for Bridgeport in the first. So, so going in the second. So I know. I can add one okay, number. Now, here we go. A bond, a bondonado. Bondonado. I hope I'm saying that right. That's how I would say it. Yep. He got in the one minute thirty two seconds into the second for Syracuse. Hosang. 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 Got a goal Hosang. sixteen minutes twenty five seconds into the second for Bridgeport. Martel got the. Oh, next that one. would give us wait. That's a two to one lead now for Bridgeport. So that's the end of the scoring for Bridgeport. Yep. And we move on to Mr. Martel, who got a goal at seven minutes fifty seven seconds into the third for Syracuse. And Volka, I think, got his goal at 13 minutes, 27 seconds into the third for Syracuse, giving us a total of... Oh, three to two, final for Syracuse over Bridgeport. Yes. So big win for Syracuse. They do leapfrog two other teams and put themselves one point uh, behind the Toronto Marlies, which no, is why good. they're so low on the power rankings, because Toronto looks like again, they could easily, by the end of the weekend, drop out of the playoff spot for sure. Uh-oh. Yep. Not looking good. All right. Let's move on to, I'm going to say, Rochester 
Americans. Americans and Cleveland Monsters. I know that because I went to the stadium and had a very, very good time there in Cleveland. If you ever want to go, good time there. Anyway, I digress. All right, we have our first goal in by Padich. Yeah, I guess Padich. Um, that's what I'm going to say. And he mm -hmm. got his goal at the 9 minutes, 20 seconds into the first for Rockford. Excuse me, not Rockford, Rochester. And then Aquin? 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 Yeah. Aquin got his goal in 11 minutes, 30 seconds into the first for Rochester. It, so it's 2 nothing for Rochester, and I do the same thing, though. ROC, for some reason, your brain just almost goes to Rockford. I did the same thing for a long time, so yeah. I understand. I I'm working on yeah. it. So 2 nothing for Rockford. Rockford. See, I just did Rochester after one. <laughs> My glasses are too bright. Okay, Thur Thur Thurkofall. Uh, I'm, I apologize, sir, if I'm saying this wrong. It might be third cough. Maybe he so might be Russian. Sorry. Again, I'm not sure. Uh, he got a one minute, two seconds into the second for Cleveland. And then we got a Quinn again. He came back again for another one in four minutes, 30, 53 seconds into the second for Rochester. <laughs> Cornell, I got that one. Got a goal at two minutes, seven seconds into the third. And then Wolanski, if I'm going to say it. Got his goal in at 12 minutes, 18 seconds into the third for Cleveland, giving us a total of... 4-2 to two final for Rockford. Rockford. Crap! Rochester. So Rochester Americans. I got it. She did. Uh, oh. So the Americans beat the Monsters 4-2. to two. Again, Americans, good win for them. They keep pace with the Senators and stay above the Comets. The Monsters, it's a rough loss. Again, they definitely want to try and get back on the winning streak next yeah. game because... They're not too far out of the playoffs, so they do need to get, but they do need to stay on a winning streak. They need to keep the wins coming. Can't have too many losses build up on top of each other. Yeah. All right. Next game, Hartford and Springfield. Right? Yep. Make sure I said right. And a lot of goals here, people. A lot of goals. You're going to get sick of my voice. All right. Our first goal was in by Noel, and two minutes, 45 seconds into the first for Hartford. And then we have Adet. 10 minutes, 5 seconds into the first for Springfield. And then we got Gettinger, 12 minutes, 47 seconds into the first for Hartford. And then we got Mangine, I'm going to say Mangine, I hope I'm right, uh, at 13 minutes, 1 second into the first. And Latreri, oh man, we got it 16 minutes, 27 seconds into the first, giving us uh, 3 to 2 for Hartford. <laughs> Sorry, I was stepping the floor. <laughs> I was dancing. Sorry, <laughs> but three, little, three, two, three, two yeah. for you guys. Yeah, three, two for Hartford at the first. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say right now. So the names, first of all, we never claim to be name geniuses, so we're gonna mispronounce a lot of those. Mm -hmm. But you guys already know that because you watch me talk and I mispronounce names constantly. You are more than welcome to let me know how to yep. get pronounced. Also, <laughs> hopefully, sorry, next week we will have AHL TV, so we'll be able to watch these live and hear how they're and pronounced. That would really help. Yeah. Okay. So instead of just looking at the app and try to yeah, watch you be able to live, watch the games and hear them. So. And hear them from now. Yep. All right. Moving on to the second. We got Odette. Got a goal at 10 minutes, 47, two seconds into the second period for Springfield. Fogarty got a goal 12 minutes, 13 seconds into the second for Hartford. Prow. I'm going to say Prow. Got a goal at 18 minutes, 42 seconds into the second for Springfield. Newell got another goal, 19 minutes, 40 seconds into the second for Hartford, giving us... I believe it's four to five at that point, if, uh, I, know, if I count it okay. right. Okay. All right. I'm going to go with that. Yep. Okay. And then, right. now we're inching into the third. And we got Mr. Letary. I'm guessing that's how you say it. That's how I said it. Yeah. Letary. Got his goal at 60 minutes, 57 seconds into the third for Hartford. And Jones got the last one to clinch it. For Hartford, 19 minutes, 42 seconds. It's probably, it was probably clinched way before that. Well, it was clinched, but now it's sealed. And Letary, uh, he was the all-star, I believe, for Hartford. One of the all-stars, I, oh. I believe, if I remember correctly. A little bit of the more you know. Mm -hmm. All right, going to move on to Iowa. Well, that's, oh. yep, that's a 7-4 to four final for Hartford I'm sorry. over Springfield. Just I thought you said that. I'm uh, sorry. I don't remember if we did or not, but just kind of make sure we reiterate at the end of it. That's all. So you guys, so you guys can keep track because, again, yeah, there was... 11 goals there we had to go through, so just yeah. give you a final at the end of it, too. Is there anything you want to add? No, just Hartford again. Big win. Let's stay atop the division, which is good. Was it supposed to be, huh? No. Uh, okay. It's a little bit of a rough loss for Springfield, but we'll see how they do in the next game. All right. All right, moving on to Iowa and San Antonio. Mm -hmm. All right, I got it. All right. That was a 
really big win for Iowa. I'm just saying. Poor, poor. Um, four to zero in favor of Iowa people. Okay, here we go. First goal, Ottenbreet. Got it. Excuse Eleven me. minutes. Eleven minutes, fifty-seven seconds into the first. So one nothing yep. for Ottawa. I'm assuming because San Antonio didn't. Iowa, not Ottawa. Iowa. God, freaking. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't even know. Mr. Bukowski. My brain just yeah, not working. When I'm not reading this stuff, my brain just stops apparently. He doesn't have to do it himself. Bukowski yeah. got his goal at seven minutes thirty-one seconds into the second. Val Padillo. Got another goal. Next guy, not a goal. Got the next goal at 9 minutes, 29 seconds into the second. And then Shaw seals it with 17, 24 into the second, giving them a final of Iowa 4, San Antonio, Zero. who's Sorry. Yep. So, yeah. I, I just, I, not really. Yeah, it is what it is. It's a win, big win for Iowa and big loss for San Antonio. I mean, again, San Antonio, I feel like it's a big loss for San Antonio than a more than a big win for Iowa. Okay. Just again, where they are in the standings, which we'll go over when she's done. Yeah. All right, moving on to the Grand Rapids and Milwaukee. Which is the shirt she's wearing. You know, you guys can't see what she's wearing. And I can... You're not going to see. Yeah. You just, you, it's just take our word for it. All right. <laughs> Pretty much. Grand Rapids wins 2-1 two, two against Milwaukee. No, that was surprising when I saw that. Yeah, it was. I was surprised too. I double checked it. Just now I'm trying to try be mean, but I had to check it. Um, and we got Pearson got the first goal in at three minutes eleven seconds in the first for Grand Rapids, and then Valeno got his goal five minutes forty seven seconds in the first for Grand Rapids, and then Pitlick got his goal at sixteen minutes forty nine seconds in the third to give them something, and that's how we have our two to one. Game. Yeah, and obviously this one's a big win for the Griffins. Yes. They do jump into a playoff spot with that win. So, it's a huge win for the Griffins. It's nice to see one of the Detroit teams winning and mm -hmm. possibly have a shot at the playoffs. And they are only one point behind the Wolves now, but the Wolves do play tomorrow. So, we'll see if that stays true. It can true. all change, right? Yep. All right, moving on to Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, and Bennington. I'm so impressed that I remember Isn't that. it Benninghamton? I thought it was Bennington, but it could be Bennington. I thought it was Benninghampton. Again, I'm really bad with that name. Surprise. Uh, I'm going to stick with my first one to say Bennington. I don't know if you guys realize that's why I always say Devils when I did it because I don't know the, I can't pronounce the name for some oh, reason. That, is that theirs? Yeah. There's a couple you've noticed. I just say the names of the teams because I don't know how to pronounce the team, name the cities. That's because I'm ignorant and stupid sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, the yeah. Devils. Moving on. So, the Devils. Uh, they did not win against Wilkes-Barre. Penguins, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I got mm -hmm. that too. And here we go for goals. Not a lot of goals going on here. We got Warsawski. Got his first goal in at 18 minutes, 39 seconds into the first. So one nothing for Penguins yep. after one. Then we have Merkley. Got a goal for Biddington at 11 minutes, 48 seconds into the second. And Warsawski comes back for another one. At 10 minutes, 50 seconds into the third, giving them the win of 2-1 to one against Bennington. Comments? Ideas? Uh, suggestions? No, ideas. <laughs> no. no. I mean, again, win for the Penguins. It's a big win. They, they stay in a playoff spot, get two points up on Springfield, who have unfortunately been playing the last three games against one of the best teams in the division. But yeah, they pull up in one of the Bruins. So, yeah, All right, big, win, win, big win for them. Now we're going... The Bakersfield and Tucson, which it's coming, guys. It's coming. We have the sticker. We just have to put on there and make it. I'm trying to get Kitty Commentary to make that for me for Valentine's Day. Uh, A.K.A. Art Department. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good at making the squares tough. over here. I'm not good at cutting out shapes outside of squares. So Kitty Commentary makes all that. So she's, she's been busy, so we've been, I've been waiting for her to make it. Once she gets around to it, whenever that is... Doing she's this all this whole this, work she's, thing. She's gonna have a comment or two for this guy. She will. <laughs> all right, moving on to Bakersfield and Tucson. Bakersfield, Kendra, right? Mm -hmm. They win. All right, against the Tucson Roadrunners. Like, nope. I'm just. She did that without even having the name in front of her. She got I, that, right? I am cooking. She I'm probably because I've been saying the sticker name a lot. Lately. Could be. Anyway, Bakersfield wins against Tucson, four to two. And we have uh, Mr. Day coming in at 55 seconds into the first game, the first goal for Bakersfield. 
Bennett comes in at 1638 in the first for Tucson. And then Malone comes in at 1715 in the first for Bakersfield. So two to one for Bakersfield at the end of one. Yep. And then we scooch on into the second and we got <coughs> Cave coming in at five minutes, 14 seconds into the second for Bakersfield. Randland comes in at eight minutes, 12 seconds into the second for Bakersfield. And that gives you four to one. Yep. Then you got your Hayton comes in at Barrett 16. Hayton. So I only reason I'm going to jump in here. Once she's done, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Finish that. 1630 into the second for Tucson. So, Barry Hayden. We have talked about him before because he was in the on Team Canada, captain of Team Canada oh. during the World Juniors Under-18 okay. Tournament. Or uh, the World Junior Championships. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Uh, he was injured at that tournament. They sent him down for conditioning to the Roadrunners. I would expect him to be up on the Arizona Coyotes rosters very soon. Oh, I'll so, it out yeah, for him. It's good to see that he has got a goal. And starting to come to bring something yeah. back with them. Yep. He right. is supposed to be again one of the better young talents in this organization. So All right. good to see that. Good to know. All right. All right. Then we're moving on to San Diego Gold in the San Jose Barracuda. Mm -hmm. Yay! All right, and that was a San Diego win, four to two. Got a last minute goal over here in San Jose, thinking they were going to get something, but they didn't. That makes me add another name to the list. What? This should have another name on here. Oh, oh. Because they got that that late goal. No, I, I, it's, they're all on here. I got it. I know, but you said, yeah, and they have that last minute goal thing. They're going to do something. Oh. And I'm oh. saying, yeah, and making us add another name to the list, of course. He want to do that. Because I rewrite some of the, I pre write some of the stuff out. I'm like, okay, no more goals, no goals. And I get another one. I have to sit there and try and squeeze okay. that in. It was it was not hard to squeeze. It was, it was okay. Yeah. She, she, she hasn't fine, experienced guys. it yet. It's fine. She hasn't experienced it yet. <laughs> anyway, we got Moeller coming in. I was on a weekend and she thinks she already knows that. How about she's a pro, right? Yeah. Five minutes, 49 seconds is the first for San Diego. And che Chekovich, I'm going to say Chekovich, comes in with seven minutes, 55 seconds in the first for San Jose. So that's 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, if you're keeping count, folks. Then move on to Benoit. I'm going to say Benoit. At nine minutes into the second for San Diego. Did you add it? Okay. And then we got Gully. I don't know. Gully. G-U-H-L-E. I'm going to go Gully or Goal. I don't know. At five minutes, 24 seconds in the third for San Diego. All right. And then we got Blitzer. Came in under the, the radar there. Blitzfeld, I think it was called. Mm -hmm. Or Blitzfeld. Mm -hmm. Comes in at 14 minutes, 13 seconds in the third for San Jose. Giving us the what? 3-2 final for San Diego. 4-2. Uh, <laughs> So we're missing a name in there. I am missing a name. That's my mistake. See, see, I was right. I was right. I count it. Yeah, miss. I have all the names. <laughs> I've got this. A weekend. You don't know what you're talking about. This is a name on the last board. Anyways, Whoopsie. don't worry about it right now. I'm no. I'm. I'm going. I'm going to get it. Who did I miss? <gasps> there it is. So this is where Dost she can go on a little rant about the AHL app. Go for it. Dusty. Yeah. This. You're right. This. He's right not just me. That. Not just me. I don't know if you guys have seen how they do this. Can I? Can I? Yeah, I mean, if, if you can get it to come up. And see how they do this, if you can see it. Yeah, they can. They just put it where it's they, like. So they go based on the team. So San Diego's yeah, first, second, third. Yeah, who scores. Yeah, not the whoever scored first, who scored second. It's like based on the teams. Not, it's, it's really yeah. hard. So I did miss, and I apologize to Mr. Dosti. At 1913, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's one of those where, again, like in the NHL one, it goes based on whoever scores. So if it's Chicago, Chicago, Boston, Chicago, there, Chicago. There it is. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's how it will show it um, on the NHL app. Where here, it would be all the Chicago's on one side, then all the Boston's on the other side. And you have to yeah. kind of pick out, okay, so this one was the first goal. This one came in second. This one was third. And it's, it just makes it's it a lot confusing. more complicated. It's very confusing. Yeah, for especially someone like us who's trying to put together for you guys. You got to be very meticulous and make sure you're and not. It's not too bright from the get go. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's just one thing we're trying to get it done, like trying to write all these names, trying to pay attention to the times. It just it gets hard to stay on track all my, the time. My apologies. But anyways, people. same day ones I won forty two after we're done off our soapbox. The box. score was right, but dot dot c d o t s i e is the guy who got it nineteen thirteen and third. Yep. So again, big win for San Diego. Let's get into the standings real quick. Uh, we're going to go through these relatively quick because we're almost at twenty minutes and we don't want to get too I'm much sorry, faster. Because I messed up. Go ahead. That's all good. So, Wolfpack still atop the line with 63, Bears are 61, Bruins 56, 57, Penguins are 56, Springfield 54, 
Chucker is 53, Phantoms at 44, and Sound Tigers at 37. In the north, the Senators still top there with 66, the Americans with 60, Comets with, Comets with 57, Rockets with 52, uh, Toronto Marlies at 49, Crunch pull within one of the Marlies at 48. Good for them. The Devils, 46, and the Monsters also 46. So, yeah, they lost tonight, but again, they're only three points back from Marley's, and Marley's barely clinging on to that last, uh, clinging on to that, that fifth spot. Definitely looks like they're going to miss the playoffs this year. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Central, Milwaukee Admirals, 72, uh, Iowa Wild, 62, Chicago Wolves, 49, the Griffins at 48, the Stars at 46, Ice Hogs at 45, San Antonio at 43, and the Moose at 42. In the Pacific Division, so if you guys are wondering about the power rankings, while I have Tucson dropped so low, you'll see why. Tucson, 58 <laughs> points. The Heat, 56. Eagles, 52. The Rain at 49. The Gulls at 46. The Condors at 45. And the Barracuda at 31. So again, yeah, Condors are get, starting to pick it up a little bit. Gulls are almost there. The Rain are starting to pick it up. And these two teams are really close to them. So that's why I said they could drop easily into the third spot, maybe fourth, uh, by the end of the weekend. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But anyways... That is your standings update and all your scores for tonight's action. Thank you so much for your patience. Yep. Uh, this is <laughs> John Cockerman's first walkthrough of a yes. night of action. So clap, 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 clap. Uh, Thank you. Yep. This is for <laughs> Wednesday, February 5th. Yes, he got it. Yep. Yeah, yes. I, I get there sometimes. See, the date, that's my, my profession. Yeah, that's what she's here for, the dates. Um, but yeah, overall, I hope you guys enjoy the videos. We enjoy it and we're having a lot of fun. I'm sure she's... Learning a lot here. Again, it's, I am. Now the question will be, will it stay? Yeah, let's see if she can remember it. But she will be doing it at, the whole week long, so she should hopefully hopefully doing it every something day. It's like drilling stick. in. <laughs> and some of these names might become, she might start to remember some of them here and there. Like Bear Hayden, let's see if she remembers it. Hey, anything can happen. That's right. So anyways, uh, again, give us a like and a subscribe if you guys enjoy the content. We are linking our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that fun stuff on there. We have uh, the Cocky Kitty Corner on Instagram as well. I will be trying to link that soon. Again, yeah. all sorts of fun different outlets for us to communicate and share hockey stuff. Uh, again, if you guys watch the time. news around the leagues video that we do on Fridays, so that's all the news from last week. If something comes up after that video, I'd usually try and share it on a social media platform for you guys to see wherever I can see it. Or if I find something funny or if I forgot something, I share it there. So go ahead and feel free to follow us on those platforms as well. Yep. Sounds good. Yep. So this is Zach from Say With Zach. Enjoy talking, Mom. Thanks, guys. Yep. And we will talk to you guys again very soon.